What's up everybody leaving this title company right now. Um, I just closed another deal. This one was for 9,000. As you can see, this was actually a $15,000 assignment fee. I JV'd it with somebody. They brought the buyer. They made, you know, 6,000 or whatever. And I say this not to brag, uh, just like in the other video, just say it as like a credibility, like your boy is doing deals. Um, and then I also say it to say that like, I am still wholesaling. One of my biggest pet peeves in my previous videos is a lot of people are like, okay, he did his honest review on wholesale sailing and, and it's scaring a lot of people away like why you shouldn't wholesale real estate why you shouldn't get into real estate and like I hate that my video gave off that perception because I am still actively wholesaling I'm still actively doing real estate been actively doing it for over two years I'm still closing multiple deals a month I still have a team of employees um, some of them even watch these videos so shout out to you guys and um, that's what I want to talk about in this video is why you should wholesale this year why this year is gonna be not only a great year year to wholesale but also maybe the best year to wholesale everybody's hyping up the past two years you know 2020 2021 2022 so the past three years you know it's it been a little bit easier you know it's it's easier to find deals buyers were buying 90 percent of arv there was a lot of market opportunity but who says that with this market we're trending into there's not going to be the same market opportunity or an, if not even more market opportunity i'm going to give like a few different reasons maybe like five maybe four going off the top of my head the first reason why this is going to be the best year to wholesale is a lot of people are leaving the industry. If you just go back to my old videos, you'll see all these comments about people saying, this is why I'm stopping in the industry. And that's just my, you know, video with like a couple thousand views, right? There's so many people getting now focused on like education or, you know, whatever that aren't wholesaling actively anymore. So what that means is with these people leaving, there's more opportunity for you to get deals. And I said this example in another video, I'm a big football guy and like my favorite analysis for this is let's say a wide receiver leaves a football team and that wide receiver got 70 targets so the quarterback threw the ball to him 70 times in that one season well they count that as 70 vacated targets that that quarterback threw that can now go to new wide receivers and tight ends and whatever now there's a market opportunity for that rookie coming in the team or like the other wide receivers and tight ends to now you know get more targets and get more market opportunity because that wide receiver left so I like to look at it like the same way with wholesaling right? That giant wholesaling company that's now not wholesaling as much because they couldn't afford marketing and you know market shifting. Let's say they did 100 deals a year. Now there's 100 open deals that could be done. So you might as well wholesale. And the second reason is why were the past three years so good? It was because of market unknown. Sellers being scared and selling their house because they think we're going into recession. Buyers saying, oh yeah, the market's going to keep going up. And it's the same thing in 2023. Now there's just going to be a different unknown where now it's this recession unknown. But if you're buying deals at good enough discount and you're buying deals that can cash flow, those deals will work. You need to adapt. So your buyers now aren't going to be these equity buyers. Your buyers now are going to be cash flow buyers. These are buyers that, you know, they see the equity. They don't really care as much because they know that they can cash flow. So you want to find these cash flow buyers and you want to sell them your deals because those are going to be the best buyers. One super common question I get is how do I find buyers? The best way to find buyers, in my opinion, I'll give you two ways. One, go to networking events in your local market even if you do real estate virtually because you never know there could be somebody else doing real estate virtually and buying in that market sometimes people will go to miami real estate events but they do deals in tampa or tallahassee or arizona you never know who you're gonna meet so network events because you're meeting buyers in person that's the best way the second way to get buyers is facebook groups facebook groups are so slept on there's so many great buyers on there i know buyers that have a full-time va that just scrapes facebook but groups looking for deals. Another reason that you should wholesale is creative finance deals. And that's what I'm closing. I'm, I'm getting an Airbnb in Tampa. The seller wants full asking price. Nobody's gonna give a full asking price for this house except me, or I'm buying this house in seller finance. I'm buying this house in subject to, it's a hybrid deal. Maybe not all the sellers need cash and they need to sell. You can get these houses subject to for very low. It's a great mar market opportunity. You know, look up guys like Pace Morby, look up guys, whoever talk about this. Um, I'm in sub two, it's a great community. If you guys come across any creative deals, send them my way. I would love to look at them. I'm actively buying creative deals. I could also help you pitch it. If the seller's interested and you need somebody to close it, I'm more than happy to help with that too. If you can master, if you can get good at this creative marketing, you're going to kill it this year. The next thing and why this is going to be a great year is with more
mortgage rates going up, that means the prices are probably going to be going down. What was the biggest reason that people weren't buying the past two, three years? Prices were high. Prices were going up crazy. What well, now prices are going down? I could pitch these deals and say, hey, listen, I buy this house next month. It's going to be lower. That's why I need a bigger discount. There's really a lot of market opportunity. Yes, the past couple of years were easy, but this year could be, you know, just as easy if you know what you're doing and you're able to adapt. Another reason is back to like what I just said with the prices, there's more sellers that need to sell their houses. And that's what you want when you're wholesaling and you're buying real estate. Don't think of it as like taking advantage of people. You're helping, you're providing a service. You're able to provide a solution for them to sell their house, especially if you can do on creative deals where you can provide a creative solution for them to sell where nobody else could. But even that, let's say cash, you're able to provide a solution where this seller can get out of the situation, can walk away with some money. There's a huge market opportunity for motivated sellers. A lot of these sellers have been sitting on the sidelines these past three years and are now like, man, I'm seeing the economy go down. I need to sell. There's the most amount of Americans with credit card debt right now than like any time in history. So that means a lot of people need to sell their house and pay off their credit cards could be wrong with that stat but i saw something like that i'm in my car so i'm not i can't fact check myself because i'm like recording on my phone if you're watching this if you're new if you're experienced don't get scared away from this market if anything look at this market as the biggest opportunity of your life look at people like in 2010 to 2018 and they're like man like i wish i could go back in time to 2008 and just buy up everything who says that 2023 2024 2025 aren't going to be 2007 2008 all over again or in 2030 we look back at 2020 2024 well i'm saying so many dates but what if we look back at this year and we're like man that was the best market opportunity of that time period i wish i just bought up as much as possible or flipped as much as possible or just did as many deals as possible the best time to get started was yesterday so take action today don't be scared you really have nothing to lose you know if, if the deal doesn't work the deal doesn't work but there's so many deals to be done out there i can't think of a better business model what other business can you get started with no license and just start making cold calls and come across a house that's dumpy and needs to to sell and flip in make ten thousand dollars even like a real estate agent you need to get a license with wholesaling depending on your state this isn't financial advice there's no other business like wholesaling real estate you can easily make six figures in a year it's not like you're creating something new um i guess this is another reason i didn't even think about this but reason number you know six or seven whatever whatever it is the path for wholesaling is already there i did this business um you could copy my path but what is my path i copied somebody else and they copied somebody else those are my reasons on why you should get started wholesaling why you should continue wholesaling why you shouldn't be scared at this year i'm still going to continue doing it i think there's a huge market opportunity for it take action um if you like this video if you like any of my videos subscribe like comment the video i really appreciate it i get a lot of comments which is cool i mean i appreciate all the comments we're like over 3,000 subscribers now which is crazy um, let me know what questions you have if you guys want me to make any more videos i want to do like more like in-depth wholesaling videos but i also want to do some airbnb videos and you know real estate videos and mindset videos appreciate you guys and uh thanks for watching